What's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today we are building yet another high-end Ryzen 7 PC. And before you guys say anything, I already know what you're thinking. You're, you're thinking, Kyle, why, why not a Ryzen 5 build? Ryzen 5 just launched. That's what we care about. We want to see. We've already seen Ryzen 7 builds. I understand. And before you go any further, I just want to say that I do have a really killer budget R5 build in the works. It's actually, we, I, I'm waiting on like two more parts and that's the only reason why I'm not shooting it today uh, because I'm still waiting on those parts to get in, but it will be awesome and it will be coming next week sometime. On that note, we're gonna be doing a Ryzen 7 system again. Although it's gonna be quite different, mind you, than the one that I built uh, for March's PC of the month. By the way, this is not a PC of the month. No, 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 no. The Ryzen 5 build that I was just talking about is going to be April's PC of the month. And that, again, you, just give it a, give it a week or so. Get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss it. It's gonna be awesome. Um, so this is also another disclaimer. This is a Be Quiet sponsored build. It's sponsored by the folks over at Be Quiet. So thank them for allowing this build to be happen. Uh, allow, allowing this, what am I, what am I? Allowing this build to happen because it's gonna be glorious. Um, and uh, we've got a huge lineup of some awesome hardware as well. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at all the glorious parts sitting behind me. I like saying glorious a lot. I feel like glorious is like the, it's, it's, it's like the adjective of the PC master race. Probably because they say glorious PC master race. Anyway, let's take a look at the hardware. No, I'm not on drugs. All right, so as I mentioned, this is going to be a Ryzen 7 system, uh, but instead of going with the 1700 like we did last month, we're going with an 1800X this time around, simply because I just have a thing where I want to I want to do a build with an 1800X just to say that I, I used the fastest Ryzen chip available in a system. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. And additionally, even though you can get pretty close within the performance of an 1800X simply by overclocking uh, your 1700 with some high-speed memory, you can still squeeze probably an additional one or 200 megahertz out of an 1800X that you might have a hard time with unless you have a heavily binned R7 1700. So, and especially given the, uh, the fast GPU that we're gonna be pairing with this thing, it's kind of nice to have that additional performance. Uh, it'll probably let our graphics card shine a little bit more uh, in more CPU bound titles. So, cool in the damn thing is the Be Quiet Dark Rock 3, and I actually reviewed this cooler about, I'd say, it feels like two years ago now, um, and, and still till this day. It, it's one of the, the coolers that I always go to for recommendations for people who are looking for air coolers within the price range of 70 to 80 bucks, simply because, A, it performs fantastically, and uh, of course it's super silent as well. Additionally, it just looks fantastic. This is one of the better looking air coolers in the last ever, like just period. It's just absolutely a work of art. On top of that, they, you can actually order an AM4 bracket for free on Be Quiet's website, um, assuming that you've ordered one of their parts legitimately. So if you just punch in the information for whatever product you've ordered, uh, you can get one of those AM4 brackets like the one I have uh, for motherboards like this. This is the Aorus X, uh, AX370 Gaming K7 from Gigabyte. And it's, uh, I, I saw this board and immediately was like, I need this in my life. Uh, Gigabyte give this to me and they actually put it on hold. It, it took them a while though. I think they ran out of supply in the US um, so they had to pull inventory from Latin America or something because look at that. Ultra Servicio! Ultra Servicio! I'm gonna do my next review in just Spanish. Hope that's okay with everyone. We'll have a fiesta at the end. It'll be great. But this motherboard is absolutely kick-ass uh, just in terms of the aesthetic. I can't wait to actually test it and see how it performs and just how it overclocks with the 1800X up there. Um, but uh, just a couple random features here. USB 3.1 Gen to, uh, as well as NVMe, PCIe, U.2, and M.2 support. Uh, RGB lighting, which is going to tie in nicely with our color scheme today, which is orange, in case you couldn't tell yet. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's just a, a lot of a lot of nice little features here that I'm sure we're going to be able to utilize by the end of this build. Did I mention it's VR ready? That's why it's better. That's why it's better than all the other motherboards. Wait, I think all the motherboards are VR ready now. Gigabyte needs to change it to like VR ready X gaming. 80 plus platinum. Now, as many of you guys are probably aware by now, Ryzen can benefit significantly from being paired with a high-speed memory kit. So here we've got some G-Skill Flare X. This is a brand new kit that is compatible with Ryzen. Um, there are a lot of kits that are technically going to work with a, an AM4 platform. However, they're, 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 they might be finicky. They might not work 100%. You might have to dial in some, some settings manually or to get the, uh, you know, the rated speeds uh, to operate properly, things like that. This should just work out of the box, I'm hoping, or out of the package. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how exactly, uh, how smooth it, it goes. Um, I'm going to try to overclock if possible, if once we do part two of this build, because right now we're rocking a 3200 megahertz by default, 
would like to push that up to maybe 3600 if we're lucky. We'll, we'll take a look at it later, but uh, overall, a very nice kit. Did I mention it's 16 gigs? I think I did. Okay, let's move on. Now take a look at this thing right here. Holy shit, it's an Asus ROG Strix GTX 1080 Ti, guys. Uh, the one that I did a review on very recently that was, you should check it out because it's interesting. Um, yeah, this, this card is awesome. And uh, I, I, like I said, I wanted to go all out for this rig, which is why maybe it sort of makes sense now why, why I got the 1800X because this is right now Oh, it was. It was the king of GPUs until Nvidia pulled a fast one on us with the Titan X Little P. Um, but still, a beast of a card. Uh, guys, I suggest you check out that review for more information, including benchmarks and stuff. So we already, already kind of know how this is going to stack up against a, uh, a Founders Edition GTX 1080 Ti and things like that. But um, we're going to be testing it with an 1800X this time around instead of like a 7700K, which is what I believe I tested it with in the review. So super excited to use this card. The cooler is just absolutely bonkers. It's uh, incredibly quiet for the uh, thermal dissipation that it actually performs with and it's just a very nice looking card as well I think it's gonna look beautiful with the rest of our hardware here today uh, SSD we've got a Samsung a50 Evo don't need to talk too much about this it's 250 gig capacity to store our operating system and uh, some basic applications rocking that V NAND of course it's a tried and true drive we're all pretty familiar with it by now it's a great price as well and it should do the job just fine we've also got a one terabyte WD black um, if this was my personal gaming PC, one terabyte is all I'd need because my Steam library isn't so massive compared to some of you guys. I know, I'm, I'm a poser, I'm a casual, but yeah, so there we go, that, that's our storage configuration there. And uh, let's see, oh, let's move up here, power supply, Pure Power 10, uh, again from Be Quiet. This is an absolutely gorgeous unit, and uh, the case that we're rocking today doesn't have a, uh, a basement cover. Um, so it, in that case, uh, literally, you, you kind of want a nice looking power supply, right? Otherwise you got to do a little bit of work, so maybe some modifications in order to make it look good. This just looks good out of the box, period. It's fantastic, I love the direction that these new uh, power supplies from Be Quiet have been going. Um, this is a 600 watt, of course, 80 plus silver, and it's uh, you can see there, it's partially modular. And it just looks, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. The thing that I really like about this unit also is that it comes with those black flat cables. So uh, even if you didn't have, say, a uh, extension kit, a sleeved extension kit like the one we have from Cable Mod today, um, it's still going to look really nice in your system, and it's going to be color neutral to match with whatever color scheme you might want to be going with. So overall, a very nice package. The last part to the puzzle is the chassis, of course, also from our sponsor. This is the Be Quiet Pure Base 600, and for $110 MSRP, which is for the model that you see before me, including the orange accents and tempered glass side panel, which we'll get a better look at once the system's all assembled, you actually get quite a bit for your money. So this is, first and foremost, uh, a case that's tailored for silent operation, especially with some of the other quiet uh, parts that we have in here um, that are also from Be Quiet, go figure. Uh, this is gonna be a really quiet system once it's all done, I reckon. So we've got tons of uh, sound, sound dampening material, for instance, at the front and, and the, uh, the side panel back there. Uh, but you've also got this little panel up here at the top. So obviously right now, it's it's in quiet mode uh, there's not too much ventilation other than a few slots at the back but you can remove this and open it up for a 360 millimeter radiator there's some flexible mounting strips under there so that's actually really great uh, to have that sort of radiator support with a case that's in this price point let's see what other goodies we have here is that a fan controller Ooh, yes that's the three speed fan controller i believe you can connect if i remember correctly up to three fans to that bad boy and I just love how like solid feeling it is you know usually you see built-in fan controllers they're really shitty um, but this one's super high quality as is the power button everything just feels built to last uh, for sure that ge German engineering let me tell you uh, the fans in here are also pretty killer uh, you've got uh, two pure wings two fans one 120 at the back and they actually gave you 140 at the front which is pretty generous I thought they were both 120s but you get a 140 at the front which is nice proper dust filtration uh, in all the places you might expect power supply and at the front there uh, we've also got some modular drive cage uh, trays here. This is also familiar from what we've seen from Be Quiet in the past. Uh, they kind of just allow you to configure it any way you want, one at a time, a la carte. Or you can remove them entirely if you want to open up the case for a bit more airflow. Indeed, that is super cool. And uh, cable management in this guy is supposed to be pretty good from what I've heard. I've actually uh, watched or read a couple reviews online. There's plenty of grommets, I can tell, they're, and they're, they're highlighted in orange, so how could you miss them? Uh, and I, I think the back is actually, let's see, you got probably, oh yeah, you got probably like three quarters to an inch of room back there. So I have the utmost confidence going into this build that it will go smoothly. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, those are all the parts that we'll be using for this high-end Ryzen 7 1800X and GTX 1080 Ti gaming monster. I'm pumped. Are you pumped? I'm pumped. All right, let's, let's go ahead and build this thing. Well, first I have to pee and then, and then we'll do that. I'm not going to film that part though. All right, let's just, let's just build it. Beep, <laughs> beep,
build complete looking pretty good actually um, I, I really like how it turned out as you can see I've already configured all the LEDs inside the system to be orange uh, thanks to the uh, the gigabyte RGB fusion software as well as uh, Asus aura for the video card speaking of the video card um, hella sag on that bad boy as I also noted in my review it's pretty atrocious and that is with both thumb screws in in the review I, I only had one thumb screw in people were like well no wonder they're sag because you only have one thumb screw in it doesn't really matter guys because it's not uh, actually reinforcing the other part of the, the GPU that extends uh, way, way out anyway what can you do sagger's gonna sag and uh, the cables the PCIe cables I actually misjudged or I went with the uh, the GTX 1080 Ti Strix at the last minute um, initially it was gonna be a GPU that only had a single 8 pin this card has two 8-pin plugs, so uh, I was actually one 8-pin short in my extension kit from Cable Mod, so that's why you see one black and one from the kit. So it's a little off, um, a little bit mismatched, but I think it works. It, it doesn't take away from the rest of the build. It's not too distracting. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is that the uh, the cooler, uh, the uh, Dark Rock 3, you can see that it's mounted horizontally with the fan uh, perpendicular, or I'm sorry, parallel to the graphics card, uh, pushing air up in case you were wondering. Um, generally, I, I, I prefer to, to mount the coolers more, more vertical so that uh, the fan is blowing air towards the rear of the case instead of the top, um, but that's just the nature of this cooler and the AM4 bracket. There's no other, as, as far as like the manual said, and I couldn't really figure out how to, to mount it vertically, uh, so just bear that in mind. It's actually not too big of a deal um, because the, the gaming K7, our, our Aorus board here, actually leaves quite a bit of space between the cooler and the graphics card in that top PCIe slot. So I'm not too concerned about thermals. One more thing, I wanted to mention cable management. Cable management was uh, very easy, actually. I was a little concerned at first because um, it's been a while, I think, since I built in a, a mid-tower case that didn't have a power supply basement or a power supply shroud to just stuff all the cables in there. But it was actually super easy and simple. There's a ton of room back there, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, and uh, after I was done just you know, spending five, 10 minutes strapping things down, that side panel, that back side panel went on no problem. There was like no resistance whatsoever. Uh, so altogether, a solid build. That's pretty much gonna conclude it for now. Thank you again to our sponsor, my sponsor, Be Quiet, for making this build possible. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to toss me a like on it. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of tech stuff that I've got in the works right now coming very soon, including that Ryzen 5 budget build, which is gonna be awesome. So stay tuned for all that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Whoa, whoa, hold on. I, I am an idiot and I completely forgot to talk about one of the most important things here about this build is uh, is the noise. And it's, it's very quiet. It's idling right now and it is audible. Uh, granted, I'm like two inches away from it. Um, you can make, basically hear the, uh, the rear fan here, but it's really just whisper quiet. I mean, if I just get a little bit further away from it, the sound, the sound kind of goes away. But the only other fans that are spinning right now in this idle state are the 140 at the front and the 140 on the cooler. Because remember, the three fans that are on the graphics card are zero decibel fans and they won't ramp up unless the GPU gets around 55 degrees Celsius or hotter. So overall, a very silent system. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from uh, building a system with components 
primarily made from a company called Be Quiet. So uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. I'll get out of your hair now. Peace.